everyone this is intuitive edge once again welcome to my channel thanks for joining me so today I want to take a look at what's going to be coming up in September what do we have happening in September what's going to be going on what can we expect to see in the news what kind of energies will be playing out so I'm going to be shuffling up the cards here and we'll be right back and get started so this is after Labor Day weekend I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend so let's see what the energies have in store for this month ahead for September. So I wrote down uh, in the news what's going to be happening. How about political? What's going to be happening in society? What we need to know? What's behind the scenes? What gives us hope? The lesson and the outcome. Okay, so let's shuffle up the cards. And if you hear any noise in the background, that is a new kitten that we just adopted and uh, he's quite active so you may see him popping in now and then I leave the door open because he's he's a little needy <laughs> all right so so let's uh, focus in on this on this coming month what are we going to be seeing in the news happening I wrote out my areas of um, ideas to look at Asking for the right and perfect energies to fall in place with these cards. Asking for the right and perfect cards to fall in the right and perfect order. All right, first card out is the King of Cups. This is in the news. The King of Cups. That's. This is an area of mastery. It's also about emotions. It could represent a person, a leader. A leader. This is also a card of like making an offer. So there could be big name people in the news. Uh, probably a male, probably um, could be related to politics, but not necessarily. But there could be some energies of benevolence uh, regarding somebody. Let me see, let me read into this a little bit, see what we're picking up. There's an offer being made to somebody or somebody coming with an idea or a plan. There's an idea or a plan in the works. Okay, we'll have to flesh out what that is as we go along. Let me see what the rest of the cards say. Uh, on the political, we have <clears throat> things are changing. We have the magician. This is the card of alchemy. This to me feels like the tides are turning. The magician card is all about taking what you have and creating something new and different. There's also something related to the sky, I'm feeling. Bringing the sky down to the earth and making some changes. <clears throat> I feel like there's there's things on a couple of fronts happening. There's a benevolence and also its opposite. We're going to be seeing the polarity in like in spades this month. The good the best of the good and the worst of the bad. And they're going to be mirroring each other. And it's just it's going to be a real stark difference between the two and there's it's like the worst is going to get worse and the best is going to get even better and somehow those two polarities are going to have to hit heads at some point there's going to have to be a climax of some kind where it it's all culminating to some something. This could be this could be a challenging month. I'm not gonna lie. There, I'm feeling like there's on on the side of the evil doers. We'll say just for lack of a better term, those that are self-centered, 
those that are that don't have humanity's best interest at heart, those who are self-serving, there's something that's going to accentuate the self-serving nature of, of some people this month. And they could try something. I'm getting a lot of fire energy. I'm seeing fires breaking out. Some of them may not be naturally caused. Some of them could be arson or intentionally done or something of that nature. So I'm just saying there's something I'm just picking up on something almost apocalyptic. I'm seeing like ash, ashes, like bringing the sky to earth and creating ash. Now, again, I, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, my kitten just knocked over my water, so I'm back. Um, all right, so that's what I'm seeing. Something with fire, something potentially, but I do feel like that they, it's like a real stark contrast. Again, I'm seeing that contrast between the light and the dark and the good, the bad, the polarities are gonna be at extremes this month, okay. All right, society. So, okay, so something about society is taking action. The Ace of Swords is all about taking action. Sometimes it's on mental lines, communication. There could be a lot of communicating. And society could be deciding to take some ownerships, take some control, um, take back some of their power by using their voice using their method of communicating with one another. That's gonna play a big role, and I think it's a shift. Um, and it could be in response to things that are happening. There could be a lot of talk, uh, but there's something about taking back the narrative. So I think there could be a lot of society deciding to, again, take back power, take control, um, and a lot of social media, a lot of people taking to the airwaves to talk, to um, interact. And I think a lot of minds are opening up too. All right, a lot of discourse. Okay, what do we need to know? Okay, this has a lot of meanings to it. This is the Four of Pentacles, a card of holding on to what's yours and not letting anybody uh, take your stuff. This is like, I'm holding on to what's mine and nobody's gonna take it from me what's mine. That's the energy of this card. And that's what we need to know. So that there could be a lot to that. On the one hand, this could represent the people saying, this is mine, you don't get to take what's mine. I'm holding my own. I'm holding what's on to, I'm holding on to what's mine and I'm delineating. This is like, this is where I stand. That also could have the energy of other people too. There, there could be a conflict with what's mine and what's yours. And you know, I, I feel like with that Ace of Swords right next to it, like I feel like this digging in kind of energy and there, there's a, there's a, I feel like a shift. I, I feel some sort of shift coming. Let me get more cards out and see what this is. Okay. Um, all right. So number five, behind the scenes. Whoa. Behind the scenes. The Nine of Swords, gosh, I mean, this this is encompasses a lot of emotions. Anxiety, grief, fear, panic, depression, sadness. Uh, so a lot of that behind the scenes. So that's gonna be underlying things on a, maybe a broad spectrum. There's gonna be grief, sadness, um, anxiety, 
panic, fear, all of that. What gives us hope? Now, this is interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. What gives us hope? And we have that card of betrayal. There's something that's very interesting because that nine of swords is facing right into that three makes me feel like this feels like what's causing anxiety and sadness that there's actually a twist to it that there could be a piece of it that is actually working to maybe expose things, bring things out in the open. A festering wound doesn't heal unless it gets attention, it gets sunlight, it gets disinfectant, it gets treatment. If it's just buried and covered up and it's not dealt with, it festers. And I feel like this something is coming out in the open. And perhaps it has to do with betrayal. I don't quite understand this at this point. Maybe it'll make sense more as the month goes on. Something about betrayal is actually giving us hope. And it could be some of the backlash that we've been seeing going on. It's almost like the more, the more negativity tries to assert itself the more that it's just exposing itself so perhaps it's something like that okay next card is what is the lesson to learn something to do with finances and money or values this is the ten of pentacles being financially secure being secure in who you are having the mindset of prosperity and the mindset that no matter what happens, that I am safe, I am protected, and I have what I need, that I can create it. I think more people are going to be learning to be of that mindset. What is the outcome for September? So we have some sort of announcement coming in. This is the Six of Wands. This, I call this the card of the triumphal entry. That's just my name for it. But it's something, it's news, it's recognition, it's something coming in, it it's, brings good news, actually. So some sort of good news on the horizon. I'm thinking this is like kind of like right on the tail end of the month looking into October. There's something that is coming in. This month is all about exposing corruption. And it's all about leadership. We have the King of Pentacles flavoring underneath. So the whole month is flavored by this card. This is a card of a strong businessman and leader, but it also is corruption. So corruption is going to be highlighted. And that's going to be flavoring everything. It's going to be flavoring... Maybe what people are talking about. Maybe this taking action, taking the narrative. Maybe people are seeing what's happening, what's going on, and they're being more vocal and more outspoken about it. And maybe that's leading to this. This is mine. I'm not going to cross this line. This is, this is where I stand and I'm not budging. That's the energy with this card. And maybe if there's something that's being... You know, I don't know, they've been, they've been talking about bringing back mandates for, you know, the suffocation device and the pin cushion thing in the arm and all of that. Maybe people are like, that's, okay, we've done that already. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there as an idea. But this is like, I'm standing my ground and it's right next to that. It's just like a rallying cry. So there's some energy around these things of people taking back the narrative, taking back their power, being more outspoken, more vocal. And I think it has to do with, with power and control and corruption. 
So, but there's something right toward the end of the month going into October that we're going to see that is really going to shift, shift the narrative quite a bit. And it's going to really, there, okay, I'm picking up something. I'm picking up somebody, I don't know who this is. Let me, let me. I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm picking up somebody. I don't know who this is. That's okay. But what I'm picking up on is somebody in the entertainment world is going to do a 180. They're doing an about face. Maybe somebody has been very vocal, um, maybe with their politics or maybe with where they stand on an issue and they're going to completely change, do a complete turnaround. It's like this person is not going to be recognizable, figuratively speaking, from maybe a year or two years ago to where they are today. And I think they're going to use their, their platform, whatever platform they're on, to speak a new truth. This person has had a revelation, and I think it's really going to become stark. I, it, it could be a musician. But it's somebody who's been really... They, I, think, I think most people, name recognition, would know who this is. As somebody who's been in the music industry. I think it's the music industry. It could be that or Hollywood. But somebody's made an about face. And they've completely changed. They're, they're, it's like their whole world rocked upside down. And they are like, they went from one side of the pendulum and they're swinging this direction. And it, they're like a wrecking ball. They're like a wrecking ball. And I don't know if it's because it's like they're coming out and they've had this revelation it's almost like a spiritual awakening with this person. I, th I think, I think it's a female. I think. I'm going to throw a name like Miley Cyrus. Okay, I don't know if that's her or not. But it's, it would be somebody like that. That's been, you know, kind of on the inside of Hollywood, the elite, whatever. And it's like they do an about face. Like completely, completely freaking change. And it's like now they're like, they're outspoken, they're speaking out, they're speaking up. Look for this like more toward maybe toward the end of the month. I don't know. Time frame is kind of iffy. It could be, it's coming up. It's coming up. This person is, it's going to shock a lot of people. And I think some people are going to be like, oh, they don't know what to believe anymore. Because so much of what they thought is... It's like the ground is shifting politically underneath everything. And what people thought, they don't think that way. It, I think what, it almost feels like an earthquake, a spiritual earthquake. When you see a natural earthquake, it's like the facades of buildings, the fake fronts of buildings crumble off. And I think the facade of society is crumbling. The, the fake, phony fraud that's been, that's of society, that's been built up, is, is fake. And it, it can't withstand the spiritual earthquake that's coming in September. It's an awakening. This is a month of awakening, okay? All right, that's what I have for you for September. It's going to be wild. Uh, hold on to your hats. Hold on to what's yours. Speak your truth. Um, be open to changing your mind. Uh, there's all of those energies playing out in September. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you listening in. We'll catch you again next time on Intuitive Edge. Bye for now. Hey everyone, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new videos.
For more ways to connect with me, check out the description box below. Thanks for watching!